All right, I'm going to be brief. Very brief-ish. A while ago, uh, a lot of the big talk for the Steam Deck was that Final Fantasy XIV would be playable on it. Now, this is a very big deal because portable Final Fantasy XIV is huge. Especially since the game already has controller support, and all this is is Steam, so why not? Originally, it was working on the Steam Deck. Like, there were a lot of people... Like, okay. <laughs> In development, it was actually working on the Steam Deck. It seemed like maybe, potentially, that Square was even planning to have it just be ready at launch. But something happened in the last few days, which, um, well, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. In the last few days, the, the launcher got an update. To the point it broke the, the launcher for Steam players. Um, to the point that it's entirely possible that the player base right now is pretty low. I mean, probably not at all. I mean, it probably hasn't even been impacted enough because, you know, dedicated players are going to be finding ways to get into the game anyway. Um, but since I don't have a sub, I'm not even bothering. But I wanted to bring this up anyway. I wanted to show this, that it's not working. And it's because of this issue, I'm just going to go ahead and close this, that Final Fantasy XIV is now unsupported on the Steam Deck. Its new launcher doesn't work on the Steam Deck, which makes it literally unplayable. Uh, this information does come from PC Games, and uh, Valve's Steam Deck is finally out, and apparently Gabe Newell loves to play Final Fantasy XIV on the system. Big deal right there. Gabe Newell specifically loves playing XIV on the Steam Deck. Uh, well, Valve's big boss won't be able to do so right now, because the latest 6.08 update of for one of the best MMOs on the PC renders 14 unplayable or unlayable to launch on the portable gaming PC. As reported by user DreamBoam on Reset Era and verified by PC Games N, you currently can't launch Final Fantasy XIV on the Steam Deck. It simply hangs on the game's logo with no ways to progress further. This seems to be something to do with Square Enix making Steam account linking mandatory as reported last month. And we'll take a look at that real quick. Um, Square Enix is introducing Steam account linking to Final Fantasy XIV to further enhance account security and bolster fraud prevention measures. The change will come into play early next month, at which point you will be prompted to link your XIV account to your Steam one if that is where you hang your hat. I mean, that... It's a big deal. That is a big deal, and I partially can understand it. But I, I do, I'm curious about the modding community. Anyway. In order to further enhance account security and bolster fraud prevention, Final Fantasy now requires this. The update forces players on Steam to have to launch Valve's client, to have Valve's client running alongside 14, which is causing enough problems on its own. Uh, and uh, Tech Raptor uh, is... I mean, they, they tell you how to fix it. It's great. Um, but otherwise, they're like, currently running away popularity. Uh, players have a complaint bug that stops 14 from even starting up. The bug displays a message that the game has been unable to receive, retrieve the necessary information. We saw that. Great. I mean, not great. But hey, I, I showed it. Cool. But we should mention that despite Game Newell being a cheerleader for 14 on the Steam Deck, the MMO is officially marked as unsupported. For plan Valve's portable system, according to Reset Era users, it is still possible to get the non-Steam version working on the deck. But everyone else will have to hope for another fix, update or fix, maybe even with 6.1 next month. For those who don't know, Final Fantasy XIV's 6.1 update launches in mid-April. So if you're looking to play that after you're done with Endwalker, it's there. Um, here's the video. I'll even put the link in the description below. So if you want to get it to work on the deck... Here you go. Um, now, my guess is that this will be fixed. Um, Square Enix has been putting games onto the Steam Deck. I mean, look like... I'll use this. Final Fantasy. Uh, buh... I mean, yeah. Final Fantasy. I mean, this is the... Um, 
remodeled versions of the original games. But it's like verified for Steam Deck. It's working. Square actually helped with verifying this. So clearly they see a value in the franchise this way. And they're okay with it. So this is either a bug and they're working to fix it, but it may be a while before it's actually working. Hopefully it does get to work soon though, because if the deck, I mean, if the deck is ways of people's first way of playing on PC, they never had a PlayStation, they never had an Xbox, I mean, it's not an Xbox, they never had a PC or a PlayStation, they can't play 14. But for $400, you could get a deck. It is a 64 gigabyte version of the deck. Which, if this worked, opens up a whole new community for Final Fantasy XIV. I hope Square gets it working. Uh, if you like the content I'm producing here, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications. Um, and if you want to follow me for more information directly, or just listen to me rant sometimes, um, the links to my Twitter and my Discord are in the description below. Be happy to have you there. Again, thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.